This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. What you just heard there was me employing um, a little kind of rhythm guitar technique known as a push. It's a form of syncopation, of basically accenting uh, something that's happening away from the beat in a piece of music, and it really does uh, lend a sense of urgency and excitement to um, whatever you're playing. It's something that you can employ in a lead guitar context as well. Um, so, you know, it's a very useful thing to have an understanding of and to be able to do. So with that in mind, let's have a little bit of an explanation. Rhythm explanation. Okay, this is a really cool technique. It is used literally everywhere. Um, songs as different and diverse as Peg by Steely Dan. The Boys Are Back In Town by Thin Lizzy and, oh, I don't know, uh, Learning To Fly by Tom Petty. Um, those are just three off the top of my head, but it literally is something that you, you hear right the way across all forms of popular music. It's called The Push, and uh, here's what's going on. If we take the first two chords in that little piece from earlier, uh, it's basically a D minor and a B flat. Now, um, if I play just a bar of D minor and a bar of B flat uh, and count through the rhythm, it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... And, you know, speeding that up a little bit uh, to the sort of tempo I played in that example, it would sound like this. And it just kind of lacks something. Um, it, it doesn't quite have the same drive and momentum that uh, ha it had in that piece earlier. So what make, makes the difference then? Well, basically, instead of going to the new chord, in this case the B-flat, on beat one of the, um, the second bar, we're going to go to it on the and of beat four in the first bar. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and like that again i'll do it at speed i'll do it without the push and then i'll do it with the push um so, so you can hear the contrast and now with the push Hopefully you can hear the difference there, just that sort of where that second chord preempts the beat because it's coming in half a beat early. That is essentially what a push is. Um, you can do it uh, halfway through a bar as well. Like there's a there's a point in that piece where it goes from a B flat chord to a C chord. So instead of going one and two and three and four and like that, what I do is go one and two and three and four and in fact i'm actually coming in on the b flat half a beat early as well so it's 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and like that i mean another song uses this actually the same chords d minor and b uh, c and b flat uh if i just play it slowly and count it you'll probably recognize it uh one and two and three and four and one okay sultans of swing isn't it so the the trick here is to get comfortable changing on an upstroke changing on the and and then missing the downstroke after it if if you don't miss that downstroke it does sound um well it loses its effect i'll show you what i mean here's the uh the push played when i when i don't miss the downstroke following the upstroke change it, it just doesn't have the impact you need that um you need that extra time um for that chord to ring out from starting half a beat early so Quite often, it's coupled with uh, a damped stroke on the uh, on the downstroke before that upstroke change. So, like I did there, I went. Like that, you can hear that, um, you know, I'm going one and two and three and four and one, like that. So, putting that, uh, that damped, uh, percussive stroke in just before you um, you hit the uh, the new chord on the upstroke is you know an important part of it. It's a very very simple technique, um, but it's one that people seem to have um, problems with, and you, you see all kinds of things going wrong where people will go and try and kind of do the, the, instinctively they want to do that new chord with a downstroke and that kind of breaks your your step as you are doing that down up rhythm so like all things practice it slowly with a metronome and just get used to doing that chord change on the upstroke <laughs> And, you know, when you, uh, I'll, I'll just play that again, but without the pushes, so you'll hear the, uh, the, the difference. And now with the pushes. So there you go, um, that is what the push is, it is a form of what we call syncopation where you are uh, playing or accenting uh, something that's on the end of the beat rather than the beat. It's an essential technique for you know pretty much every style of popular music that you may need to play rhythm guitar in. So. Go away, practice it, and have some fun with it. And up on my Patreon page, there's the address, link in the description. You will find uh, the, the video of me playing that piece, uh, the explanation you've just seen there, a chord chart uh, showing the chord sequence for the piece of music, and um, I've also indicated on there where all of the pushes happen to be um, happening, um, you know, on, on the chord chart. And uh, I've also done uh, like an MP3 uh, version version of the uh, of the piece of music as well so you can just kind of put that on on your phone or whatever and uh, practice playing along to it when you're not near um, a screen basically oh, I suppose you are near a screen when you're on your phone but you know what I mean there's an audio version of it as well as I say all up on my patreon page three dollars or two pound fifty a month and you get access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these YouTube lessons a massive massive heartfelt thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which you will find also linked down in in the description and that is pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed this little lesson on uh, syncopation and pushes in rhythm guitar playing and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it
it. Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars. What, I ask you, is not to like about that? What a fantastic way to kick off the weekend. It's great fun. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Thank you.